So, hey, Dad, I ask you before the break, any anything new out of Starkville, uh, especially as it pertains to the quarterback position? At the quarterback position, I still feel very confident that Will Rogers is not going to play, or at least is not going to start uh, this weekend. I, I would be surprised to see him play at this point. Um, I just don't – I just – from what I've, I've – the people I've talked to and from what I've heard, I, I just don't see it happening. I think that they that he is definitely out this week, and then it's, it's going to be – you know, as we all are, it's going to be day to day for us after that. So we'll we'll see what next week brings, but don't expect to see Will Rogers this week. I think State got some good news yesterday from uh, from Woody Marks, who tweeted out some emojis. Now, I am not a 15 year old girl, Ooh. so I don't speak emoji. Nor did I. I should have. You know, I, blame me. I should have let my my ninth grade daughter look at that tweet and go, "What is he saying?" I didn't do that. That's on me for not being prepared. But it came across, if I just from my limited emoji knowledge, that we might see Woody Marks on the field uh, this weekend, which would be a big boost for Mississippi State to get him back and, and full strength into this offense. This has been a big emoji week for Mississippi State fans trying to decipher meaning from both players on the team mm-hmm. and players hopefully on the team in the future. Yes, Yes, and emojis, you know, for for people our age, you know, it, it's tough. It's tough, you know. It's sort of like the whole what with the Oklahoma thing, where, where where they were like, "Hey, if you can't figure out how to find us on a streaming network, ask a young person." I need to do that. I need to get some young people involved and say, "Hey, help me out here," because I don't know. In in, in your day to day text messaging, how many different emojis do you use? On average, less than one. No, I don't mean per text. I mean like, in ter- like like the library of emojis is hundreds, if not thousands. Oh, how many of those do you actually uh, use? I have used the one hundred emoji every now and then. Yeah. Um, I will throw a, a a smiley face in every now and then, especially if I've made what I feel is a sick burn on someone. Mm-hmm. You know, a, a really sick comeback. I think that's how they what they call it. Um, beyond that, I may occasionally I'll give you a thumbs up, and then if I'm talking about my buddy Tyler Horka, you might get a horns up every now and then with him. Okay. I use the thumbs up a lot. But I, in you do. fact, I you am do. I am far more likely to send the thumbs up emoji than giving you a double tap thumbs up. On so a I do the double tap most of the time. Yeah. Um, the, the two I do hands double tap, in the ha, air, ha, ha, too. So. Yeah, the, 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 I don't know, two hands in the air emoji. I use that a lot. Occasional okay. on the face palm. Yeah. Um, occasional on the fist bump. I like the sunglasses smiley face emoji. You do. These are, I've seen you, I've gotten these emojis from you. Yeah, the, the half frown is uh, occasional. Mm-hmm. And then I've got the, uh, if you type in wheels up, it gives you the airplane taking off. And I always mm-hmm. send that to Jane, like right before my plane takes off. I'm like, so so you have more emoji-ism than I do. Yeah. This is what Woody Marks tweeted. You tell me. He gave us two, uh, like, laughing faces, but not the crying laughing, just the big grin. And he, those are those are on the outside, and then sandwiched in the middle is the pondering face, you know, the... Hmm. Face. I use that. So one what, too. what? What do you take from that? What do you take from that? I have no good idea. news. Maybe. <laughs> I love this. This is my You're favorite. Young segment. Borky, help us. I have no idea. Help us, Borky. Borky, do you use emojis? Are any fifteen-year-old girls you don't listening? Text, do you? No, I do, and I'll, I'll use emojis sometimes. Keith and JS says wheels up is an emoji of cross one. Laughing, crying right. face. <laughs> Keith Invaden says, this is the one that I use the most. He gives us the middle finger <laughs> emoji. Thanks, Keith. He's telling us we're number one. David says, what is this double tap you speak of? Uh, all David right, David. must be on I can, Android. I can, uh, if you were using an Apple device, if, there, if somebody sends you a message that says, on the way home, if you just want to acknowledge it, you can tap twice on that message and give them a thumbs up. Um, if you are 
expecting something exciting in your future based on the person that's coming home, you could double tap it and give them the two exclamation marks. Maybe, maybe you're just excited to see the person. Um, what are the other? Uh, you go heart, thumbs up, thumbs down, ha ha, exclamation marks, or question marks. Yeah. So, so those are your, like, but that doesn't actually respond as its own message. It just highlights like on the message that has been sent to you. Bo from Starville says, hey, Dad, would you say Richard has strong emojo? Probably not. I like I, gifts I better strong, than emojis. No. Gifts are better. Gifs, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Lee in Stark Vegas sends us a picture of a cow and a picture of poo. What does that mean, Lee? <laughs> we can't say it on the air. Yes, We're yes. Serious I, XM I, here. I, I was, I was, uh, I was kidding. Uh, so yeah, there's, yeah. I do, uh, I do, I do like to. I, that's something. That's an old man thing. The uh, reply with GIF slash GIF, however you pronounce it. I've determined that pronunciation or that i've given up whatever people want to say i don't care i yeah. have no strong feelings about it gif sounds better gif is peanut butter uh the guy who invented it says gif yeah well so that's why i go with that uh, going back to i get it, on mississippi though. state if you no, 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 no. Numbers, this is where we are now statistically are now. teams are pretty close in a bunch of major categories scoring yeah. offense they are separated by three-tenths of a point. Arkansas 10th in the SEC at 29.9. Mississippi State 8th in the SEC at 30.2. Scoring defense, State's 11th at 29.5. Excuse me. Um, Arkansas is 10th in scoring defense at 25.1. Total offense, Mississippi State. A little bit better. Arkansas dead last in total offense. 14th. Yeah. 116th nationally at 321 yards per game. It's crazy. And what's interesting about the other side, though, mentioning if Mike Wright plays or not, this losing streak that they're on has featured three consecutive quarterbacks that can run. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. and they were successful against. And not only are they three quarterbacks that can run – but Daniels, uh, uh, the best, having the best overall season in the SEC, throws the football brilliantly. Jackson Dart can run. Really throw the football Milrow well. Can run. Has got good weapons. You know, Milrow's the least accomplished passer of the three, but he's certainly athletic. And Arkansas did a really good job of keeping those three guys in check. They did. They they absolutely did. Hey, who's a more viable Heisman candidate at this point, Jaden Daniels or Caleb Williams? Daniels. Hey, Dad, there's a reason why I asked that question. We were like back in April, May, June, something like that, and we're just wondering, you know, wondering out loud about things, and I wondered about that. You remember that? And the two of you laughed at me about Jaden Daniels as a Heisman candidate. It was a long we were just time laughing ago. laughing at you. Oh, okay. That had nothing to do with your argument. We were just, That's good just like, look at this guy. No, it's not like I took that all the way to the bank and picked him to win the Heisman in our preseason predictions. No, I went with Joe Milton the third instead. So those two things probably cancel each other out altogether. Did we decide yesterday whose Heisman prediction was worse? Mine with Joe Milton or yours with Carson Beck? Uh, what was yours, Borky? I think Marvin Harrison. It's probably better than those two, but he's not winning it either. It's better pick. I agree with him. He's not winning it, but it's at least he's a better player. 